Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we have another new artist alert for the channel. Yes, we're headed all the way back to 1977 to listen to Love is Thicker Than Water by the amazing Andy Gibb. Okay, this one was a single, comes from the album Flowing Rivers, written by Barry Gibb and Andy Gibb. I hit number one on the Canada Adult Contemporary chart and number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. Very impressive. Must be a great song. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go.
Wow, very surprising. A lot more going on here than the four big songs by Andy that I know. Really enjoyed that. Seemed to take its time and give us so much musically and vocally as well. Really, really cool. Um, definitely a very Bee Gees feel right from the get-go. That makes sense, you know. It's a gib. Um, Barry's highly involved. He wrote the song, probably wrote some of the music, so that all makes sense. But, you know, it had me moving, had me loving it. Um, the music came in really strong right out of the gate, but I love that it slowed down right away. Seemed like maybe within the first 20 seconds we got this big introduction, then boom, to that soft, slow section, which you know, of course, that I loved. Andy Gibb, of course, as we all know, was an amazing singer, just like his brothers. Uh, he's got that unmistakable Gibb tone to his voice, but still has his own uniqueness and flavor as well. Really enjoyed hearing him here. Um, the song had a nice, interesting mixture of kind of a lush quality uh, and then some rock in certain sections and some funk going on. Really nice mixture there. A unique concoction for sure. Of course, many peaks and valleys. I was kind of making fun of my own uh, hand movement because they just kept going and going, taking us to, you know, extreme highs and lows in the sounds, emotions, dynamics, etc. Really nice. Um, of course, the verses, probably my favorite part, when everything was slow, it had a very dreamy feel in the vocals. And again, that floating on clouds feeling, just love that pocket there. Of course, I loved Barry's backing vocals, just added more magic to the song. Um, anything Barry touches seems to turn to gold, and this is no exception. The whole song was very catchy, so pleasing to the ears and to the soul. Uh, no wonder it hit number one here in the U.S., no surprise at all. And then we move on to that final section, more beautiful acoustic guitar going on, and the la-da-da -da started, and that was its own whole thing. It ended up going for quite a while. Um, those vocals became kind of its own solo instead of a guitar or a saxophone, etc. That was really interesting. Um, again, they repeated them so many times. I think I counted, what, five or six times? It just kept going. Uh, let me know if that was Barry or Andy. I think it was Andy, but again, their voices sometimes sound so similar that I just can't tell. Again, that la da da section uh, repeated at least five or six times. I was like, is it going to happen again? And then boom, there it went. It lasted all the way into the fade out. And you know, it made that section super memorable because it's the last thing you hear and it was repeated over and over. And it didn't get old though. I loved it till the very last second. All right, let's talk about the lyrics. I think they're about the immeasurable strength of love, which can lead to devotion to someone that you cannot end despite problems that may exist, or even if it's not the right person to be in your life. Uh, it's impossible for the narrator to leave his woman. He sees all the warning signs, but all he can do is hope and pray that it all works out. Wow, powerful song that addresses the super powerful nature of love. Yeah, really love this one. No faults with it whatsoever. All those classic Bee Gees, Andy Gibb type sounds going on here. Uh, I know he doesn't have a huge discography, sadly, since he uh, died so young, but I'm glad I checked this one out today, and I'm glad I finally got to him on my list. So I'm going to give this one five golden records. Yes, an A slash A plus for Love is Thicker Than Water by Andy Gibb, 1977. Thank you so much, Andy Gibb, Barry Gibb, Joe Walsh, who played guitar here, really cool, and anyone else involved in this song. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about the song. I would love to know your opinions. I would also love to know other favorites of yours of Andy Gibb. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated, and remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.